the guy that gave him permission to use the car, his mama reported him missing. I popped the trunk. Sorry, there's a dead body in the trunk. On July 29th, 2020, See what's going on, y'all. A Louisiana State Trooper conducted a traffic stop involving a 2017 Chevrolet Camaro on Louisiana Highway 17 near Williamsboro, Louisiana. The vehicle was doing a 73 and a 55. Mm. LA 17, one mile south of LA 4, black and orange Chevy Camaro 242 Charlie Lima Tango 242 CLT Louisiana. Hey driver. Hey driver. Okay, step back here with me, man. How are you? Hey, good afternoon. I'm Trooper Nielsen, Louisiana State Police. Mm -hmm. reason why I stopped you was for speeding. You know how fast you're going? No, 73 and a 55, so it's 18 over the limit. Yeah, my man uh, was trying to slide license? down that highway. Yeah, no, sir. And why are you driving? I was just okay. going home. And he got you no have any license. weapons on you? No, sir. Just, it's okay. I was just asking. What's your name, man? Michael. Michael what? Mitchell. Michael Mitchell. How old are you, Michael? I'm 18. Okay, Michael Mitchell. M-I-C-H-A-E-L. M I T C H. What's your date of birth? 1602. Is anybody with you? No, sir, it's just me. You have insurance? Hey, show me your insurance. Whose car is this, man? Your big brothers? You smoking weed today? Look at me. I did early. I'm not high right now. Okay. All right, we'll take a look at you. Do you have an ID? You have any ID? Is there any weed in the car, man? Let's do stop. Step, step here. Step here to me. Look at me, Michael. Look at make eye contact with me. Step out here. Step up here. Is there any weed in the car? Yes or no? Just a doobie in the ass, like okay. other than it is. Anything like, else? Alright. You be honest with me, I'll be honest with you. I ain't looking for no roach. You hear me? Yes, sir. Is there anything else in there? Roach. Okay, is it in the ashtray? In that yes, cup sir. thing? Yes, sir. Anything else? Yes, sir. Okay. When's it, when did you puff last? This was be last. honest. Because I'm a drug recognition expert. About an hour ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna. We're, I'm gonna look at you, but all right, where are you headed right now? I was headed to. I was headed back home. Okay. Where's home? Well, so far, I think this cop is being very polite, but very stern with him because he seems like something's obviously wrong with this guy. If he's going down the street doing 73 and a 55, but let's see. What's your address? No, stop, stop. Come here. Where do you live? It's easy. It's easy to answer this. Where do you live? Do you, you don't know how to drive to your house? I was coming from there. I got lost. So what's the address? I'm going for But you have Google Maps, sir. No. What? You don't know your address? No, sir. Okay, come back here. Come back here. All right. Prop up on this bumper right here, okay? Just sit down right here, okay? All right. All right. You've admitted there's there's a small amount of marijuana in the car, and I've smelled it. It's probable cause. Can I take a look at your car? It's yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. But there's nothing else in there? No weapons? Nothing? Okay. It's your brother's car? It's your brother's car? Hey, come here. Put that, put that phone on that hood. You know, you ain't gonna sit here and be texting behind my back while I'm sitting here in this car. Get on that, get on that car. Smart, sir. Whoa. What happened there? I see bullet holes. Mm mm. Hey,
Damn. Hey, all right now, step here. When did all this happen? When did all that happen? It happened. When? My brother, he did. How long ago? My man can't even Days? keep his story yeah, straight. Okay, come back. Just like this here. Come back here. Just stay right here in front of my car. Is this your wrench? All right, Michael Mitchell, 16-02. I got this. His name. That sounds like a white person's name. Like cool. somebody just made up hey, on the spot. Mm -hmm. right, my man breathing kind of hard back there. Right, let me speed this up some. Bother you. Fourth, orange and black Chevy Camaro stopped. Adam stopped for speeding. 73 and a 55. And it's got bullet holes all in the in the driver's side, right by the door. Y'all ain't looking for a car in, involved in anything. It's a comes. Uh, hold on, just let me run this date of birth. Uh, this is an 18 year old I'm out with. M uh, Mitchell. Michael Mitchell. Yes, sir. And uh, he don't even know where he lives. He, he won't, or he's saying he don't know where he lives. Uh, well, I'm just making sure. I mean, he's saying, he's saying he lives down here in Winsboro, but his address is coming back out of Richwood. But yeah, he, he, he don't even know his, the address down here, but like right behind the driver's side door, there's like two or three bullet holes in that thing. So he said two, two or three days ago, his brother, that is the name on the car, on the registration, Chandra Henderson. So ain't nothing ringing a bell? Okay, I'm gonna call a, I'm gonna call a guy. I mean, I'm code four. I was just seeing if y'all had this collected or anything down here. Honestly, I'm surprised the guy hasn't taken off yet. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm north of four. Uh, not even to. I'm right by the golf course. All right, bye. Yeah, thirty-two, three. Scooter, see if y'all are working anything or looking at anything. I'm a I'm a mile north on LA 17 over here north of Winsboro, uh, on just north of LA 4, and I got this car speeding 73 and 55. It's a black and orange Camaro. All right, the guy the guy's name is Michael Mitchell. He's 18 years old. Uh, got no driver's license in the car. It's a black and orange Camaro. Comes back to a Chandra Henderson. Of Barrington Drive in Monroe. Yeah. And See, and that's one thing I don't understand. Why black people usually get mad at the police for pulling them over when you're speeding, when 73 and a 55, you got no license, the car's not even yours, and they want to go and call it racism. I don't know. And it's got like three bullet holes in the left side of it. The in that Camaro, that little triangle window right behind the driver door, and right in the door jam, there's a there's a round, and there's like two right behind that. Okay. Um, and he said he thinks his brother said his car was in something two nights ago. Now he says he lives in Winsboro, but he's got a Richwood address, and the car comes back out of Monroe, and he's got this uh he's got a GPS thing put in, but he don't even know the address, so he's lying about a bunch of junk. Mm -hmm. So I was just going to check. Y'all aren't working anything up. Like, y'all make it too obvious yeah. that you're not telling okay. the truth. Okay. 
Uh, okay, all right. Well, I got somebody pulling up behind me, Scooter. Let, all right, thank you, fella. Hey, now, who are you? I'm Anthony Rob. They don't scare me to death. Well, how are y'all here? Called my people from Monday. That's them on the phone. What do you mean they were looking for him? They looking for him. They called me and said, hey. Okay, give me your phone. Hey, man. Hey, this is good. Sir? Okay, he's not giving that name. No. Okay, f first off, first off, hold up. I'm Trooper Nielsen, Louisiana State Police. What, what, okay. who am I talking to? Okay, what? His name is Michael Robinson? Okay, he's not giving that name though. He's, he's, he's giving another name. What's your number, sir? His phone back. Yeah, I got to go back to work. Okay. He said he needs his phone back. I'll call you on, on a block line in a minute, okay? Okay, I'll show him. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, let me ask you something. Did you give me your right name? Yes, sir. What's your name? Michael Mitchell. Take, Michael Dwayne Mitchell. Doing, yes, sir, okay. take, your, take your head off. Take your head off. You got plats in your head? No, sir. Okay. Where you, where do you live? Be honest with me. Monroe? Yes, sir. All right, so I think what's going on is the person, the guy pulled up in the pickup truck looking for someone, the owner of that car. But apparently, I think he, this guy right here, Michael Mitchell, stole it from him. This explains the bullet holes. Rich Wood, you don't live in Winsboro. Why would you try to bluff me on that? Why would you lie to me on that? Because I already knew that before this guy said something. What's up? Talk to me. You better stop lying to me right now. You're going to be in jail. I'm just going, I'm just going to my sister's house. To your sisters? And I was going to his sister's house. Like, you're going to lie. Keep your story So when I keep asking you where you live, you don't even know because this ain't even your house. You better get some right in you and stop lying. Some right in you and stop lying to me or I swear to God you're fixing to go to jail. Do you understand? Yes, sir. That's the last freaking lie you better tell me. What's your last name? Mitchell. What's his Robinson last name? Michael Robinson. That's your brother. Who took the car? Who took that car from whoever it belonged to? He gave me permission to drive the car. He, Michael Robinson gave you permission to drive this car? Yes, sir. Who gave him permission? This is for Say with him, please. How are you? Good. Mr. Chad. <sighs> Hold on just a sec, sir. F-39, Region 3. I've got a Franklin Parish unit out with me. I'm with Covil. Hey. All right, sir. What's your name? What's your name? Hamp Ellis. Hamp Ellis. Okay. Has this uh, car been report reported missing? Okay. Who? Who? Okay. Let me ask you something. Has the car been reported stolen missing? Who? Who are you talking? Who are you talking to at the police department? Who? Who? Who do I need to talk to that knows? Yes, sir. Okay, give me give me the number. Get, hold on, Jake. Speed this up, Sam. Hey, this is Nielsen out here. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Just give him a call at the office. It's orange. It's black with orange stripes. I, I just had this guy named Hamp Ellis on the phone. Hamp said that this kid, there's a kid that's been reported missing, and that they took the car from Monroe. And he lied to me about his last name. I mean, his address and where he's from. This Hamp Ellis said that the daddy's looking at him. Some guy pulled, random guy pulls up behind me. Said, "Hey, this guy's looking for that kid. I need to know if this car has been reported missing, stolen." And yeah. Okay. Okay. There's three bullet holes in the driver's side, right behind the driver's side door jam, and like one in the jam and two right behind it. And I just, uh, this guy's name is Michael Mitchell. Uh, the, I'll go ahead, I'll give you the, uh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. What I got is Louisiana 26125. Zero three, 
057 on a Michael Dwayne Mitchell Jr. It's a uh, 16 of 2002. He said that he said that Robinson gave him permission to to have this car. Okay, so I just need to know if it's reported if it's been reported stolen or missing, so we can work it up from from the back. Good deal, thank you, man. Bye bye. I get him out. He, I know he's BSing to me about where he's going. Facts. He says he's going to his sister's house down here. If you could, hey, talk to him. See if you can figure out if the sister thing is legit. He's out of Richwood. I told him, he, I knew he was lying to me. Uh -huh. He said he lived in Winsboro. I'll put that together real quick, but okay. something else. Ain't, he said this guy, Michael Robinson, who they're looking for, uh -huh. gave him the car. Okay, Michael Dwayne Robinson. Wait, Michael Dwayne Mitchell. Okay. But Michael Robinson is supposed to give him the car. So I'm trying to, let me. So it definitely seems like my man didn't have a plan for anything that just went down. And I mean, if you're going to do a crime, let's not like do other crimes to get yourself caught. Because usually that's how people get caught in the car speeding. And then the police pull you over and they find out that you did something else. See if you can talk to it and see what this sister thing is. Because he, he said he's got the GPS on his phone on the, on the back lid. Uh -huh. He said that's where he's going. And I knew he was lying then. Hey, where your sister live at, man? Any investigator named Regus or something? Okay, okay, well, somebody, the Franklin Parish Sheriff's Office just called, said there's some contact with Monroe PD called Regus, somebody named Regus or something, that this car, this car has been given to this boy by another boy who's been reported missing. Huh? And, and something's going on between the two of them. Hmm. And this boy right here said that that other boy gave him permission, but Monroe, the guy from Monroe hadn't called me yet. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to see. He said he was going to, the Franklin Parish dispatch was going to try to confirm all this and get back with me. But um, evidently, I mean, he got the three bullet holes in it and the boy's been reported missing. Do we need to do anything with specific with the car? Like, do we need to? <sighs> Crap. Okay. Man, I just don't want something bad to come back on this with, with me letting it go. Yeah, don't let him go, bro. Um, yeah, okay. Criminals off the street. All right, well, if I, if, if I need any help, I'll call you back. I'm sorry to bother you, Scooter. You can just get a call from, uh... Okay. All right, man. Go ahead. I'll, if I need you, I'll holler back. Bye-bye. Hey. Uh-huh. Hey, Chad. Like, this looks close. Like, like bam, yeah, it looks bam, like bam, he was bam. shooting out the window. Yeah. In the boy. <laughs> see? see? What a, what a, and what I didn't see any exits. That the boy who gave him permission to use the car is missing. So he's lying his ass off. We go looking for the person who owns the car, find out that the, the son of the owner of the car is missing, and now we got bullet holes all in the car. I got you. So, something's. Bad, right? The only thing he lied about was his address in Winsboro. So he don't have a driver's license, but he lied about yeah. living down here. I don't think I don't know what he thought that was gonna do. But, but lives in Richwood, and the, the the car is registered out of Monroe to the. But I'm not getting these. I called Scooter Day over there. His scooter's been off. He hadn't heard nothing. But I don't know who's supposed to be calling me. They said somebody's supposed to call me. The y'all sheriff's office said somebody was calling me. Yeah. If he's if he's knows something about this boy that's missing, there's bullet holes. I'd like to at least. We need good. I guess I'll do as much good contact as I can. You haven't been in the vehicle, huh? 
Uh, yes, the only, I just looked in the console, the center console. He had a doobie in the, the ashtray thing. But I really didn't give it a good look. I'm going to do the obvious thing I want to do. Hey. Yep. Uh oh. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Don't move. Do you understand? Don't move. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. Have one present during any questioning. At any time you choose not to make any statements or answer any questions. Do you understand? If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you by the court. Do you understand? Do you understand? My man's blood is boiling. Who is that? Who is that? Who is who? That's Mike. That's Mike. How did Mike get there? Tell me. It wasn't me, man. It was. Okay. I just hit him. I just hit him. Nah, 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 nah. Don't start that crying. You wanted to live this fake mafia lifestyle out here taking people out, putting them in the trunk. You're getting found out. Keep that same energy, bro. Don't start that crying. Hit him. Okay. Lock, lock this down. Lock this down. F-39 to Region 3. F-39. Get in there. Get in there. Region 3, 39. But the cops are racist, right? I didn't see this cop scream at him or attack him or nothing like that. He's just doing his job. And he got found out. 10 15. 26 is 125 03 05 7 125 03 5 7. F39 Troop FDS. Good. Um, need a supervisor out here. I am LA 17, one mile north. Hey, Sarge. Yes, sir. Yes, 23 and 55 on LA-17, just north north of LA-4. All right, I get the guy out. He's super nervous. Uh, he lies to me about his address. He's got no driver's license. He says he's going to his house in Winsboro. Well, I find out he lives in Richwood, okay, and I call uh, Monroe. This car has three bullet holes in it on the driver's side. I asked the guy. Uh, he's been smoking weed, so I asked the guy to search the car. I go around the car in, inside the passenger compartment and I can't find anything. Uh, it's a, maybe a little roach and a doobie in the ashtray. We're, we're sitting here asking about it, uh, about the guy that gave him permission to use the car. His mama, his mama uh, reported him missing, Michael Robinson. Uh, they just found the driver's name is Michael, um, I gotta get his name here. I popped the trunk, sorry there's a dead body in the trunk. Okay, so I'm not. We we block we blocked in front of the car and behind the car. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop the video right there. I could not imagine being a police officer that works in, on the highway. And probably they probably see so much stuff, drugs, bodies, and I'm not. I think I've heard that being a traffic officer is the most part of being a heat police officer. <clears throat> But yeah, this is one really crazy story. Story. But I'm glad they caught this guy because we don't need people like this on the streets. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one.